Google Cloud Next 2017 hosted a litany of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch the session Developing for Speed, Minimizing App Latency at Scale, then stay tuned, because here is the recap. You're a good developer, so you already know the importance of having a fast app. Lower latency correlates to an increase in user engagement, sales, and user satisfaction. Now, latency is the delay between a request and its response, and application latency specifically is how this delay manifests and affects the end user, which is important. As little as a 100 millisecond increase in page latency can cause around a 1% drop in revenue. Which means that the ultimate goal is to manage latency in a holistic manner to maximize user satisfaction. You know you've done a good job when performance plays no part in a user's experience. They simply don't notice it. A good rule of thumb is to focus your attention on making your most common operations the fastest and aligning behavior with user expectations. Uh, see, users intuitively expect some operations will take a bit longer, uh, for example, creating a new file or saving one. Now, even for operation when that's not the case or where the delay is likely longer than they're expecting, you can manage those expectations by telling users the operation may take a while. From a user perspective, the perceived latency is the time spent interacting with the UI, the actual latency, and the difference between their expectations. There are some great ways to make your app feel like it's loading faster without actually decreasing its actual latency. Provide instant feedback, animate straight transitions, and cache your UI components so that they appear immediately. Showing a UI, even if it can't be interacted with, will decrease the perceived latency. If you want to improve the actual latency, the first step is monitoring it. Google Analytics lets you specify user timings to investigate the distribution of latency values for different actions and the difference in values across different demographics, including regional differences. Another great tool is Stack Driver. Using tracing, you can view latency numbers in real time, plot it on a scatter graph, and dig deeper by selecting individual traces. Stack Driver also produces reports, including sampling traces at different percentiles for you to look at. When you identify a high latency function or request type that's CPU bound, then profiling lets you dig deeper. Once you've identified potential latency issues, it's time to mitigate them. One great approach is to find out where your users are and put your compute and storage resources near them. To help, use the Google Cloud CDN, or a content delivery network, to take advantage of Google's globally distributed edge points of presence to catch HTTP load balance content close to your users. Above all else, focus on user satisfaction with a holistic approach that includes both front-end and back-end. If you're interested in more ideas about how to use Google CDN and details on performing and performance analysis on your apps, check out the full talk on YouTube. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist. And don't forget the Google Cloud Summit coming soon to a city near you.